Hello, welcome to this uh, new video uh, where we are uh, uh, trying to learn this SAP 2000 as a beginner. Uh, in today's video, uh, we will be talking about uh, 2D frames, right? Uh, so let's uh, make it simple. Uh, you want to analyze uh, a frame in uh, 2D, just click this option and uh, a window will open which uh, says that it is about 2d frames right now there are some parameters that you need to understand for example a frame type uh, the first type is portal frame which is a simple frame right you can see it uh, for example you can make it uh, number of stories as one and number of base as one okay it is totally up to you please keep in mind the units are in inches so if you are uh, uh not uh, so much good in inches uh in the previous video you had to select the feet or uh, you can also type feet uh, with the units for example i want to make it 10 feet right and it will convert it into inches by itself okay uh, sap is good in conversion don't worry and i want to make it as a 15 feet right it is just for the uh, sake of understanding uh in the uh, type uh, frame type uh, portal for example if i am going for the another type which is called braced and uh, in braced there are two type of braced and one is concentric just look at it it is uh, a frame with internal bracings right and uh, you can see that by default the number of uh, stories are two and minimum number of base are three because it have to apply the braces in the interior frame right just like if you are modeling for a shear, uh, shear wall or the walls that you are providing for the lift or something like that, okay? Some very uh, rigid and uh, stiff structure are present there. And the third type is the uh, braced frame, uh, but it is eccentric. So just look at the type of braces, okay? So we will uh, talk about the portal frame. Number of stories are two, number of bays are two. Uh, the story height are 12 feet and the bay width is let's suppose make it uh, 20 feet right uh, again this is the option that i also explained in the previous video that if the spacing for example this is the uh, ordinates option click on the spacing if the spacing is not uniform among the bays or among the story height so you can alter it here for example if the spacing of the uh, first bay is not 240 inches instead it is 228 right and of that is 252 so now you have changed it uh, uh, for your convenience similarly uh, for the uh, story height you can uh, make the same changes for example 156 and 120 so these are the things that you can make a uh, change in this uh, window or this option uh, the section properties you can make uh, the section properties uh, here as well and uh, you can do it in the define menu as well okay so it's up to you uh, i will skip here and i will add it over there so restraint if you want to make it restraint at the uh, bottom so you have to select it or if you don't want to make it restrain then don't select it okay don't check it click ok and this is your frame you can see that this bay has smaller width as compared to this bay and this story height is greater than this story height also the origin should be this column was supposed to be at the origin but since we reduced the width of this bay so it has moved a little bit here right now uh, what you can do is go to define materials first you have to define the material of your own interest okay add new material now uh, what kind of material you want to define if it's steel concrete aluminum cold frame rebar tendon other okay i want to define something like uh, concrete and uh, the modulus of elasticity for concrete is not 29000 but it is rather 4000 uh, round off it is about 4000 okay it is not a lightweight concrete its strength is 3000 psi you can check other properties right for example the poisons ratio and other material properties and you can alter them click okay 
the name of the material is mat you can change it as well and uh, then go to define section properties frame section since these are the uh, frame uh, elements the beams and columns these are 1d elements in sap you have to define them with this frame for example this is the uh, uh, section property defined by sap itself so just click modify show and it is about steel section right i want to uh, add a concrete section for example from here select this concrete uh, i want it to be rectangular solid rectangular it will be frame section 2 you can name it any uh, thing you want okay beam column for example beam column and uh, you can assign it uh, properties for example uh, okay you can uh, make different sections for example for beam you can uh, create different section uh, and for column you can create separate section uh, for the case of simplicity i am just making it uh, same for both of them and uh, i'm not touching it uh, right now okay now click on them okay it is said not responding so give it a minute now click all the members or select all the members or uh, you can select them from here select go to select okay and you can select them uh, from the properties or you can select them by assignments or there are different options by which you can select them okay so just select them and assign them the section that you just defined assign frame frame section and this b column right and the the section is now been assigned now what you can do is uh, you can also change the support conditions for example if you want to go to assign joint loads or joint and restraints and uh, these are all hinge supports you can uh, make it uh, for example roller support see if you click the roller support only translation in three direction is selected if you select the uh, hinge support all three translations will be restrained and if you select fixed support you see that uh, translation as well as rotations have been restrained okay so these are the roller supports uh, you want to apply a load at any point whether it's udl or point load for example i will select these two beams and i will assign it a load for example go to assign frame loads and uh, you want to uh, assign a distributed load so select this and uh, i want to make it in keep fit and i want to apply a load of for example 2 keep per fit for a c this is a uniform load it will be applied throughout so click ok and a load of 2 keep per fit is assigned now you can you may probably question that it is 0 0.17 so here the units are keep inch as soon as you convert it into keep fit you will see that it is 2 keep per fit right so now what uh, you have to do is to run the analysis because you have assigned the sections and you have applied the loads uh just go to the uh run uh, load cases and select this to not run and uh, just run now and uh, sap will ask you to save it first so give it a good name uh, for example 2d frame right and it is our first exercise so you can give it any suitable name so this is 2d frame right and save it see this is what you have got now okay i want to check the reactions go to joints these are the reactions that you have got right there is no horizontal force the horizontal reactions are zero just zoom out the 0 0.28 and 0 0.36 are just because of the uh, the change in this uh, you know uh, what you call change in this span length therefore 0 0.8 plus 0 0.28 is equal to 0 0.36 so this horizontal reaction is just because of difference in this bending moment okay and nothing else these are the uh, vertical reactions similarly you can go and check the shear force diagram 
you can either check it with fill diagram or with the values this is the shear force in the top beams in the bottom beams the there is no applied load the shear is just due to the self weight of the beam right if you go to the moment so these are the bending moment diagrams right so this was a very simple case of uh, how you model a 2d frame in sap 2000 and uh, how you uh, run the analysis and how can you check different results uh, these are very basic things and that's why i'm not uh, uh, utilizing uh, a lot of uh, options uh, i am trying to keep it simple for example go to uh, again this 2d frame and select this next thing okay and here you have to define for the beams for the columns and for the braces now the third thing that came into contact is braces okay so see this is how you will now more uh, uh, assign the properties to these uh, beams the columns and the braces then you will apply the load on them and then you will run the analysis and uh, if uh, necessary then you perform the design similarly the third option which i mentioned you was about the eccentric uh, braces okay so click okay and see these are the braces which are uh, sap term termed as eccentric braces and you can also provide these kind of braces here as well okay so i hope you have learned how to model to 2d frame in sap 2000 and how to play with different parameters and uh, how to change the bay weight story height apply load run the analysis and uh, get the desired results so hope to see you in the next video take care bye bye